So uh, seemed as though that was what we'd come to expect of Exeter in previous weeks, and that perhaps hadn't happened in the last few weeks. Kind of a proper Chiefs performance there. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't think you can run away from the fact that we've kind of been waiting for this game to come a little bit, and I think that probably has maybe taken a little bit of edge off a couple of performances. On the whole, we think we've been travelling along pretty well. We've been collecting plenty of points in the Premiership, but we have been waiting for that. Uh, I suppose the injection of kind of real quality rugby, real energy, and I thought we saw that today. Um, I thought attack looked a lot better today, like multifaceted. We were, you know, we were finding space around the edges of rucks. We were finding space back on the inside. Uh, the momentum we could gain with some of our carrying was good. Our clear out work was uh, light years better than the way it cast, where we, we struggled a little bit the breakdown. I mean, we, we did lose some, but on the whole, I thought that our commitment to the areas that were really important today, which was getting the ball up off the floor and keeping the ball moving. Keeping keeping Cast moving in defence was was top notch, and you know great to see guys like Jack Noel back playing so well. You know, we, but we did look like a team that had multiple ways um, of hurting the defence, and, and that was very pleasing for us. It's going to be very important going into next week. Expand a bit more about Jack Noel and his return because it didn't take him long to make his mark, and he looked excellent, especially at 15 as well, which he hasn't always played out here. Uh, it, I think it just it just probably gave him a little bit of freedom in attack, didn't it? And you actually saw him. You know, up and up around the edge of rucks and picking and going and, and just getting his hands on the ball, you know, way more than a fullback normally would. It, it suited him the way the game went today. We went out there with a mindset to attack the game and be ourselves and, and play multi-phase rugby, um, and, and a lot of that came off. You know, I don't think we were as great defensive, defensively as we can be, but it felt like a game where both teams wanted to attack um, and, and wasn't sure about defending. And I think actually our attack just edged it enough to. The control enough for that game. Is that somewhere where Jack could play perhaps slightly longer term at 15? Do you think? I know you've had, you know, you've got Phil Dolman in there. You've had Joe Simmons play there recently as well. I think Jack can play. He can play pretty much anywhere across the back line. I mean, he's played in his national rugby centre now, isn't he? I, th I think he can. He can fit in anywhere. And when we're when we're playing that, that relatively high tempo, multi-phase game, it doesn't really matter what numbers you've got on his back. Um, it certainly looked comfortable there today. It certainly meant we had a lot of attacking threat on the field. Um, and I think you know there's certainly a possibility of him, him staying there for a little while now after playing so well. Um, you obviously go to Munster next week now with hope and with the possibility of a victory with taking taking through. Well, I think we've done the most important thing, which is get to the, the last stage of the pool um, effectively in a in a semi knockout game. I mean, it's not as simple as that because we have to do we have to do more than just win the game. So we've, we've got to collect at least a four point gap uh, to get level with Munster. But you know we've given ourselves a definite something to go over there and play for, and I think that's that's what's so exciting. We can genuinely talk this week about going and testing ourselves in one of the in one of Europe's kind of iconic, you know, European uh, venues against one of Europe's iconic teams in a in as close to a knockout as we could get. I think it's going to be a fantastic test for us, and it's it's going to be great to see which players want to stand up and fight. Would you need all that and more to win over there, probably, Simon? It's funny, I, I think the biggest thing for us is, is to get emotionally recharged more than anything else. I mean, looking at um, Munster on Friday, you know, they went there absolutely bubbling with emotion to, to get in the faces of Gloucester, particularly in the forwards. Um, and it was, it was almost evident they, you know, they had a real game plan to actually go after certain people within the Gloucester team. And I think that's the thing we've got to face first. You know, we've got to decide that we're going to go there and stand up and not back down physically or emotionally. Um, and that will then that will give us our best chance. You know, we, there was times today early in defence where we got rolled a little bit just with some one-off carries. That's something Munster are very good at, and that's certainly something we're going to have to be able to contend with. But on the whole, you know, if we can make the game about us playing and not about Munster playing, we, we will give ourselves a good opportunity. And that two-day difference in rest, whatever it is. Yeah, it's a, it's a strange one, and, and you know, it, it, without complaining about it, you you would think it's something that needs to be looked at scheduling-wise. Um, that you know, you schedule a Friday and a Sunday for two teams who are going to play in the last round. Doesn't quite seem like uh, like, the, like the best scheduling you could absolutely offer to the uh, to the English Premiership side, but um, we'll take we'll take that. Sometimes it's good not to dwell on things. You know, I think the boys the boys um, don't look like they've come off too knocked about. I think, like I say, it's about emotionally recharging as much as it is physically. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll get, lads can recover tomorrow. We'll have a couple of good days training, and we'll enjoy getting over to Munster and taking part in a big game. Okay. It doesn't look like it. We've got, we got some bumps and bruises. We've got Nosey off early just for the amount of game time he's, he's not had recently. Um, and we just didn't, he's, he had a slightly tight hamstring um, just coming into the game. So that was Jack Noel not 100% fit, which is quite nice to see. Um, so hopefully, hopefully uh, he'll, he'll, he'll shake that off. Um, and obviously, a bit more game time will sharpen him up. Um, 
but on the whole it doesn't look like we picked up any. There's a few bumps and bruises, a few stitches, etc. But uh, Tom Francis kind of had a, a slight back spasm, but he thinks he'll, he's, he's had it before and he'll bounce through it pretty quickly. So on the whole, we look pretty good. Good, thank, thank you guys. You.